If you had to guess, what do these two players have in common? You're right, they both play for Molde FK. Today, we're going to Norway to rebuild Molde. Here we have him rebuild King Jr. The third is taking over the manager position as Molde. But before we get in there, boys, first of all, let's have a look at the squad here. It looks uh, decent enough, I would say, but there is some rules. There is some rules. I'm sorry, man. But we can only sign players from Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. So this is going to be very interesting. So it is the end of the transfer window, the first actually, and uh, it's in January because apparently this Norwich um, league start in uh, January. So we have done some transfers here, boys and girls. First of all, we have brought in Mas Hermansen, a Danish goalkeeper uh, from Brøndby. Uh, we have signed him for Karlstrand plus four million. We have brought in Antonio Nusa, a Norway Norwegian um, right mid uh, for two million. We have brought in Swedish Hugo Larsen for 2.2 and we have sold Knutsson, we have sold Björn Barksoil Eikrem, I believe he's the captain. Um, we have also so sold Sinian uh, Breivik and then we have brought in Christos Seiferis, I have no idea how to pronounce that, for 2.7 even though he's worth 3.7. Really good deals here we have made, we still have a budget left of 2 million for now. Um, at least so this is the squad not not like this the squad but cypher is going to put hugo larson in here nusa you're going to play up here man um maybe we can make you a right wing i don't know but this is the squad we will be playing with for the start of the season at least then we'll see what we're going to do when we are getting into the july transfer window summer transfer window so we are now in december and it's the end of the season here first of all let's have a look at the squad just uh, now 75 on the Bryn hilson 73 on the striker 74 nusa 74 71 72 71 70 70 73 and 76 really good very nice growth from the squad right here now let's have a look in the elite Syrian. We came second, which it's it's good, man. It's good. Um, I would like to be number one, but uh, that means we still have Europa League next season or Conference League. I don't know. Maybe we are in the playoffs for Champions League. I have no idea. The Norge Mr. Scap. Uh, we lost in the quarterfinals. Nice. And I also know that we are in the Conference League right now, and we are through. We are number one in our group, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, that 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 was that was it for season one. Let's have a look at who scored the goals. Uh, hopefully, our striker has done a great job here. He has 26 and 6. Even though he's only grown by one rating, it's still good. 18 and 9 from Boone Hilson. Uh, 11 and 1 from Nusa. 8 and 7 from the white right wing back. Uh, 5 and 3 from Ericsson. Uh, 5 and 1. And then we have Zafiris on 3 and 4. Okay. I mean, it's all, all right. Mansvak. He. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, man. Zero and zero. Oh, what the hell? Hugo Larsson, only four assists, no goals. Holy shit, that's bad season for them, man. And now we have the big bucks. 13 million to spend. This is going to be great. We have pretty much spent all the money. We have 800k left in the budget here. And uh, this is the squad we have put together. First of all, if this computer wants to... Con con you know, uh, we have brought in Elias Jelat, a Danish right back uh, for 2.4 plus uh, Linus. We have sold Hagelskjær, sold Eriksson, sold Kitolano. And then we have brought in Leo Ustigat for Hagen plus 13 million or 12.3 million. So that's a very quality player signing we have done right there, man. Ustigat coming straight into the squad and already building it up man you know he's, he's bringing the quality into the squad um so this is the squad we will be playing for this season you know it's 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 all right uh, our left back i believe is getting a bit old nope apparently not he's 28 but this is the squad we will be playing with just for this season now end of the season in season two here and let's have a look at it the manager rating is looking aight not great not bad but in the elite Serie, we came number one guys number one that means hopefully we qualify for champions league I, I really hope we do. Uh, unfortunately, we lost in round one. Okay. In the conference league, which we are in right now, um, you can see that... Whoa, oh my god. We are we, we are good. We're good. But how did, how did we do in the... Oh my god. Do I have to go back? How did we do in the conference league we already were in? 
so here's january if nothing in february nothing in march okay we can't see the games or what apparently not i don't know why it doesn't show us but uh, okay okay let's have a look at the squad then let's have a look at the squad so 78 on point heels and 75 80 6, 76 78 76 really good looking squad here 72 77 on Nistigat. unfortunately he is injured right now we can live with that 73 on Rizar, 77 on Gillard, and 81 on hamilton the first 80 rated player we have and with new sound of course so that leaves us with only two players left to upgrade and it's hagen and rissa i mean man's work is doing his a really good job right now so maybe we're not going to upgrade him in the near future but uh, we need a new left back and a new center back that's that's for sure um and also a new striker of course he's also getting old and but he's growing but too now it's really good 33 and 5 bring hilson with 24 and 8 14 and 6 from nusa 7 and 8 and 5 from Manswerk. so pretty good here pretty good um maybe i should just start to record when we hit the summer transfer window so we can see where we finish in our things once again a 15 million dollar budget let's work with this so we have spent a lot and we have sold a lot which you may see we have sold christopher hawk and here the left wing back we have sold the burke risa and then we have brought in leo hjelde for the left back position we have brought in hjalma ekdal i believe it's pronounced for the center back position so right now at the moment we only have two danish player in the squad that's why i think that the striker will be a Danish just until we can sign Haaland. It would be absolutely amazing to sign Haaland back to Malde, right? But for the meantime, we need we need a Danish striker. So we're probably going to do that next season. But let's see what we are, how, how well we did in the Conference League. So we are now in the 1st of June here just to see if something happened in the Conference League. And let's just go into the standings. Right now we are sitting at number one in the Elite Series. But if we will have a look at the group stages here, we came number one in the round of 16. We beat Ajax 7-4. Holy shit, man. Then we beat Pau 2-1. We beat Union 6-4. And then we lost in the final to Newcastle, man. What the flip. That would have been good. That would really have been good. Really, it would, it, it would have been nice. Let's just have a look at the squad. Looking really good now. Looking really, really good. The squad is getting better and better and better. So, um, let's just see where we are at the end of the season. So, it is the end of the season here in December. So... It has been a couple of days since I last recorded, but now I'm back at it. So let's have a look at where we are in the sta <coughs> in the standings here. Um, where were we in the this year? I mean, we 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 played Europa League, right? What the flip? Oh, okay, we are in the preliminary rounds. Did we play Champions League? Are you sure about that? Did we really play Champions League? We came third in the Champions League against Man City, Sevilla, and uh, where the. F uh, Celtic of course I'm sorry okay so let's have a look at how did we do in the league though in the normal normal elite the series in here let's have a look we came number oh no man let's get it did we won the Norges Mr. Skabet we did 2-1 against Subspot very nice very nice let's have a look at the squad have they developed quite nicely are they all good are they all good? We got 81, 78, 85, 7, 8, 8, what the fuck, 84, 80, 80, 77, 79, 79, 82, and 83. Very good here. Very, very nice growth from the squad. As I remember, I believe so, they have grown. Um, and let's have a look at the stats here. Who has scored the goals? It's Ola Brynhilsen with 31 goals and 10 assists we have berisha with 24 and 7 we got nusa with 15 and 7 and we got safiris with 8 and 9 very nice very nice boys and girls we now have a budget of 31 million we're definitely going to spend that so we only brought in one player here and it is Jürgen Strand Larsen for the attacking position here. Hopefully he's going to do bits for us. Let's have a look, man. So we are now in June just to see what we did in... Uh, how we did in the... Um, what's it called? The Europa League. I mean, we're doing alright right now in the city here. But if we will have a look at the group stages. We were not in that. But we won the preliminary round. We won 5-4 against Nice. 
We then went on to beat Porto 3-2. We beat by Leverkusen 5-2. That means we are in the semi-finals right now. We were probably going up against Atletico Club, probably. We were up against Trabzonspor, where we won 5-2. We are in a final right now. Right now, we are sitting in a freaking Europa League final against Atletico Club. Atletico Bilbao. Did we win it, boys? We did! Holy shit, man! We won a Europa League! Malte! Won a Europa League! That means we're automatically qualified for Champions League next season. Holy shit, man! We're going to get a big budget for us, man. Holy sh... Oh my god. That's great. That's a what the flip? <laughs> yes, boys. It's the end of the season here. Let's get it. Let's have a look at what we did do here. First of all, in the group stages in Champions League, we actually did pretty good here. Nice. In the UEFA Super Cup, we won 3-1 against Real Madrid. Really good here. Elite Serie, of course, we came number one. In the Norgish Mesterschaft, fuck, we lost in the quarterfinals, man. That we are not used to that. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, 83, 81. So not a lot of growth on these players this season. Actually, no growth on Boeing Hilson, but I believe he also was injured. Uh, Nusa is injured. Hugo Larsson has grown a little bit. Safiri has grown a little bit. Manswerk has grown a little bit. Yelde has grown actually by three, I believe so. Ustigar only grown by one or two. Ekdal only grown by two or three. Gelat though is doing really good there on the right back. Hermansen only 84. He's definitely going to grow next season. So um, some of these players are slowly growing. Very slowly. But uh, we, I believe we need a new centre back. I really do believe that we need a new centre back. And maybe even if possible. I, I don't know yet because this guy's good. Queen Hilson is good, man. I don't, I don't want to leave him. Okay, never mind. Well, I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. Leave that up to me. Okay. So, um, let's have a look here. Jürgen Strandlasen. 25 and 2. Really good here. 22 and 5 from Queen Hilson. He's grown by 2, though. What? Okay. That's that's good enough. If he can grow by 2 next season, I'll be happy. Um, as a VDC with 12 and 4, 8 and 3, uh, 4 and 13. And Nusa only played 21 games. Uh, because he is injured still. He will be injured for another two months though. But he has 89. So really nice done there. Really good job. Um, really interesting boys. Just for fun. Let's have a look here. Who's our most expensive players? It's Nusa, Zafirish, Jelad with a 97 million rating here. Uh, 50 million, 41.5. He has also grown by 5 this season. Really nice. A lot of these players are actually growing, even though I believe they didn't. Really nice. Okay, let's get into the next season and see what our budget is. Now we have actually brought in new players to the squad. The first person we brought in was Isaac Hien here for 17.4 million plus Ustigat. A Swedish player. Uh, we have also brought in Andreas Christensen, a really absolutely phenomenal center back in the world right now. 17 million plus Ekdal. Which is a really nice transfer to do here. Um, the only problem is that he has the injury trait. But uh, hopefully he's not going to get injured. So um, this is the squad for now. Even though we have still have some money left in the budget. I believe that this squad can definitely do something great. Even though I'm, I don't know how I feel about Manswerk. But uh, he can do it. And I believe that since Larson here he had the plus 8 in... The average rating last season, he, his potential probably have grown. So um, this is the squad we will be playing with and let's just hope that a lot of them can grow. Okay guys, I couldn't not do this man. Pierre-Emile Hoybier's contract was running out right. And Manswerk was worth 31 million plus we had 25 million in the budget. So we paid 12.2 million plus Manswerk for Pierre-Emile Hoybier insane sense of defensive uh, midfielder here we have already popped up four in racing this season insane just uh, from upgrading months back to hope yeah absolutely insane this squad is actually beginning to look look like something okay boys have a look at this guys we are in a champions league final what the flip man 
That's not fair. We have a game the day before the Champions League final. What the fuck, guys? What is this? Now I have to, like... Oh, my God. Team sheets right here. I'm just going to make a new team. Wait a minute. So, this is the squad we will be playing with. Uh, not in the Champions League final. <laughs> but in the... Game before the Champions League final, man. What the fuck is this? Sabsburg. If we win this, I would say this is freaking impressive. Oh no, Andreas Christensen is playing on this. On uh, what the flip? Okay, we have Christensen. I did not see that. Um, you're going to get switched out with Lund, I believe so. Yeah, why not? Wow, he actually goes up ten rating if he plays there. Holy shit, man. That's okay. That's pretty impressive from him. Pretty, pretty good. So um, let's just see if 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 there is any possibility that we actually can win this. That will be absolutely amazing. Probably no. What the fuck, guys? What the fuck? We one one. I mean, that's not bad. That's really not that bad, guys. Okay. So uh, let's just get straight into not straight into the Champions League final, but uh, we have a Champions League final to play which is absolutely amazing i did not expect it to go that fast man i believe the uh, we just started it took like three three four seasons or something like that um which is going to go back to normal um if we will have a look here at who we were up against you can see that we were up against atletico de madrid inter milano and shakhtar Donetsk. and uh, we came second then we were up against manchester city where we won four three we won 4-3 against Leverkusen and we won 4-3 against Real Madrid. Okay. In the elite Sherian, we are still number uno. Norgeschmester Skab. We are up against a Buru Glimt. I have no idea who that is. In the Super Cup. Oh yeah, we still won 3-1 against. Yeah, I'm my bad. In the FIFA World Cup, is that has that started? No, it hasn't. Okay. Great. Let's have a look at the squad. It's only a half a season since we last time saw you guys. But we need 85, 83, 89, 84, 86, 89, 83, 84, 89, 85, 84. This team should definitely not be a team that will play in a Champions League final. But I mean, maybe it's something to do that they all Scandinavian. I mean, most of the... You can see Hermansen, Christensen, Heuber uh, is Danish. We got uh, a lot of Norwegian players. We got some Swedish players as well. So it's it's a good mix. I don't know if that has something to do with it. Maybe they have better team morale. I have no idea. But wow, in this in this half a season, Safir is here has scored 17 and 5. What the fuck, man? 22 appearances. He's on fire. Uh, 12 and 4 from Queen Hilton. I would say that's good, but 17 5 from a centimet. That's insane. Larsen with 11 and 2 uh, and 3 and 1 from Elias Yelat. He, he is actually good. I mean, he has potential to be like 79 or something. He's 89 now. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. But uh, let's get into the Champions League final. We are up against Yotta. I don't know if that's Diego Yotta or the Yotta guy from Celtic who just joined Al Khilal. We are up against Vlahovic, Ailing Jr. I have no idea who that is. Merino, Thiago, Williams, Saka. Oh, I used the wrong here. Yeah, Sakaria, Kalulu, Prema, Bariashile. Okay. So if we will have a look at our squad, you would say that this is definitely not a squad that sh should win a Champions League uh, final. But uh, I, guess, I guess you never know. I guess you never know. Let's have a look here. 3 0! Holy shit, man! Stran Larsen with a goal six minutes in, and then in the 84. No, what? 84, 48. What the fuck am I talking about, man? And then, of course, Saferius. He's doing absolutely good here. We have 55 ball possession, four shots, four chances. They had three shots, two chances. We are just better. We won 3 0 against freaking Juventus, man, with this squad. Uh, they, they, it must have something to do with uh, some kind of because they are Scandinavian. I have no idea how that is even freaking. If it's that's possible, I don't know, man. Is it possible? I mean, we have just done it, but what the f man? 
okay but thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i thought it was just a fun little rebuild here for you guys and uh, i'll see you guys on monday right where i'm on vacation once again but this time with a couple of boys so we're going to have an amazing you know week and we are we are away in like nine days but uh, i am pre-recording right now a lot of videos for you guys so there will still be some videos. Thank you.